Good morning, Mr. Mauer, the chief Porsche designer, right? That's right. Okay, <laughs> good. Uh, thank you for your invitation uh, in this beautiful context. And my first question is about, um, well, I'm ju I just came back from FIVA uh, Symposium in Marrakesh, mm -hmm. where the main topic was the passing of the passion to young people. Mm -hmm. And young people, um, I've been told, that <laughs> they love resto modes, restoration modifications. And um, I mean, mm -hmm. um, which is the way, according to our survey, um, to some, uh, people could be able to continue uh, enjoying this passion. Driving cars from the four, from 40, 50 years. Um, what are your What are your thoughts about this current fad? Yeah, let's say uh, first of all, I think uh, there's a tendency of people that they always believe that history was nicer, was more interesting. But uh, I think it's as well very special for our brand, for the Porsche brand, since we have such a strong history. And there have been very iconic cars, like uh, this car with the Entenbürzel, with the ducktail. So since we have this strong history, um, I think it's as well always worth to look back, to restore old cars. And it, it, it shows just the passion to the brand. Um, and uh, I, I think this is uh, yeah, very important that as well in the future we, we create new icons um, to keep as again this this love for the brand thank you um we go on another question um referring again to resto mod singer mm -hmm. is probably the mm -hmm. best known mm -hmm. resto mod porsche builder mm -hmm. uh, press recently reported that singer vehicles will have engines built by porsche mm -hmm. to singer specifications instead of the latter turning the to outsiders for help as it did in the past. That's a big deal and speaks to the level of work that Singer does, which obviously is recognized by Porsche. Will this also be the prologue for a collaboration in the styling department? Yeah, but let's say, <laughs> let's say uh, for these kind of cooperations, other people are responsible. We believe that uh, if you talk about brand identity of, of, uh, of our brand, it is important to keep these activities, which are then related to design, in one hand. Um, but I think, uh, I mean, there have been collaborations in other areas and fields. Um, so, uh, let's say, uh, <laughs> stay tuned. Or maybe there are other collaborations, but again, if you talk about the design so far, we try or we do it in-house. Um, since we believe this is imp so important to create this kind, kind of brand identity that our customers love. So, thank you. Another question. Um, which of the Porsches of the past 60, 60 years um, inspires you and enthuses you <laughs> the most? I mean, yeah, which yeah, is, this the, is the car I mean, that, this um, is, looking back? If we talk about the Porsche brand, it's not so easy. Uh, maybe in other brands it is just one single car or two single mm -hmm. cars. If you talk about the Porsche brand, there are so many as well different cars. If you think about the 550 Spyder, uh, I mean the, the, the 2.7 RS with the ducktail, uh, a 918, a Carrera GT. So for me it's impossible to say this is this one on the most. One. Yeah, for me personally, if we talk about the 911s, so the 964 is one that I personally love very much. But again, it's uh, I think this is one of the unique things of the Porsche brand that we have so many icons, basically. Okay, thank you. Again, go on. Uh, what is the um, most onerous commitment for? Fashion, collectible, high-performance car for a stylist today. Is it the harmony between aerodynamics and styling or something else? You know, I, I would say to, to build a car and to design a car is one of the most complex things you can do. You have legal restrictions, you have your aerodynamics. I mean, if you have performance like this, the brakes, everything, safety. So it's extremely complex. 
and in the end of the the day it's uh, in this complete environment to create then a very strong brand identity uh, which in a sports car uh, brand starts with good proportions so uh, I mean this is very very uh, yeah challenging but as well very important but it goes in the end you have the proportions of the car you have really the styling elements and then you have details details um, so in the end of the day it's it's artwork and it is the whole thing uh, it's it's hard to say I mean it, the aesthetic uh, has to be right but yeah I think for for us it's so important to have attractive proportions because we are a sports car brand Thank you. Just, just for just one second, some fresh air. Yes. I'm closing. <laughs> it's very I know. Warm. I know. That's a problem. Okay, with the Sonder Wunsch program, you mm -hmm. have the opportunity to get to know mm. a lot the most dedicated, passionate, and well-heeled Porsche enthusiast. What appears to you to be the most frequent desire, and if you can tell us which was the most unusual? the requests yeah I mean first of all I think for a, a luxury brand it's very important to give as well customers uh, the opportunity to individualize their cars so in a way you could say Porsche is already uh, very individual but still a lot of customers have the wish to make it even more personal um, so and again there we talk about the taste of our customers and for me I mean there are things uh, where I would say I would not do it like this okay. but my personal taste is different so I have different furniture I have a different but apartment so for me there really the customer is the king yes but and yeah I mean there are I color mean, color combinations where yeah. I just think wow uh, interesting very colorful I would not do it like this uh, and but I can't say there was this extreme in, wish. Or unusual request. No, no, I mean, so as well as the philosophy is everything is possible. Okay. We try to make it possible. And sometimes combination, so personally, for example, I'm not such a fan of wood, but in this combination with this leather, I, I think it works perfectly. Yes. Actually, uh, when, I, when I read, because I, I just saw the pictures about the wood in, in the car, I was a bit surprised. Mm -hmm. A bit, mm -hmm. yeah. It was a surprise to me, mm -hmm. but it works well actually. And let me check. Um, okay, uh, with this overwhelmingly electric thing, mm -hmm. uh, do you think that two poor souls can coexist? Electric with the lesser technology and gasoline with all the excitement that Porsche enthusiasts already he received for 60 years. The I role think, of stylist in this area? Yeah, I mean, I, I think if you would have asked me five years ago before we launched the Taycan, mm -hmm. I think we, we could have had a big, big question mark. Mm -hmm. The success of the Taycan shows that it is possible uh, no matter which, uh, let's say, if it is a combustion engine, electrical engine, whatever, even when we produced for a couple of years diesel engines, we proved that uh, it is possible to do a real portion, no matter which engine is in the car. And for me, again, yes, personally, I love the sound of the six-cylinder boxer engine, but I love as well to have this performance in the Taycan without this traditional sound. So um, again, I think it's no problem to have this coexistence. And the design, since you mentioned it, it was impossible that the Taycan at the first glance is recognizable as a Porsche, uh, no matter which engine is in it. So I think that was the job of the design and uh, again, I think the customer uh, response shows that uh, we did a pretty good job. I, I, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and let me ask you another couple of things very quickly. Um, can you tell something to our readers of Tutto Porsche, Porsche aficionados, um, as a message for the coming years? Yeah, that uh, we are working hard on the future of the brand. 
And uh, since as a designer you look uh, always already a couple of years ahead into the future and uh, I can promise you that there will be a lot of exciting projects and cars and products in that are in the pipeline. So will be don't excited. worry. Yeah, no, no, they don't will be worry. excited. Last thing, um, please tell us, what do you imagine a Porsche would look like in 30 years? Yeah, I mean, first of all, uh, it will look different, but still you will recognize at the first glance that it is a Porsche. I think uh, we had established a good philosophy and strategy that we keep the brand identity so again, as I said, no matter if it is a 911, is it a Taycan, is it a Macan, so we manage this, but still our design language has always been further developed uh, and has been modernized. So again, as I said, you will see it is a Porsche, but it will look different, for sure, but still extremely exciting. So, and since I, as a designer, live in the future, uh, I know a little bit more <laughs> and I'm very excited but uh, you know uh, as a designer of Porsche I have to be excited of course. it's for me the most fascinating brand so thank you thank ne you thank you and thank you for your questions you. and uh, see you next time exactly thank you have a great day <laughs>